Brought to you by Essentia Water and motherfucking butter and uh, motherfucking uh, PewDiePie. I just got off the phone with PewDiePie. And he said, I'm not PewDiePie. Stop calling my phone. I said, ha ha ha, PewDiePie. That's why we love you. Welcome. Third episode. My mom was a stripper podcast. I didn't really like the last episode. Was anybody feeling that episode? I, I mean, it was decent, but I wasn't really like, yeah. I kind of, I kind of felt like Tiffany Haddish on stage at New Year's. You know, be like, hey y'all, she ready? Um, no, that's not really what I want to talk about. Uh, I want to talk about what do I want to talk about today? Let's talk about Madonna's ass. What about Madonna's ass, Jamal? How old is Madonna? Because if Madonna's like 60, Ellen's 60, I'd still smash Ellen. I mean, you know, Ellen would most likely not smash me. But Madonna, I got a little chance with Madonna. I'd hit them fake cakes. She was, you know. But I feel bad for that young man. He felt he was like my age. And he was like, uh, you see him in the video? Nigga looks scared as shit. I was like, uh, hey, bro. He was like, I'm scared as shit. I didn't really like it. Um, <laughs> like, he really did. That little kid, that, like, I wanted to, like, check out that. I was like, what the fuck is up with that ass? Look like an ant. You know, not like an auntie, like, a, like an actual ant bug. I mean, but I'm, I, you know, I ain't even hating. You know, she face, you know, she's still, she's still straight. What old lady would I want to hit first, though? Hmm. I think everybody says Oprah, right? But I don't think Oprah is really, like, I, don't, I think Oprah is a, a little bit of a full-time job. You know, if I had to hit an old-ass lady... Probably hit Chris Jenner. Shouts out to Chris Jenner. Yeah, I think Chris Jenner we could get it. Or uh, yeah, yeah. Me and Chris Jenner, we'd have a we'd have a we'd have a lovely relationship. I think. Uh, so if anybody knows her, and then uh, you know, you know, tell her to hit up the uh, the host of My Mom's Was a Stripper podcast, whatever that guy's name is. I I forget his name. What is it, like something like, uh... Yeah, I was walking down the street the other day, okay? I see a fucking fly... I see an old lady, right? She's with, like, one of those little old-ass dogs. I don't really know the name of it, but, like, think of a little dog that's, like, got little short legs and a big-ass head, and it kind of looks like a detective. You know what I'm saying? Them old ass looking. It looks old even when it's young. It's got like a, a goatee. What the fuck is the name of that dog? Anyway. Um, I'm walking down the street. There's this old lady. She's approaching me. She's about 25, 30 feet away. Old as hell. Jamal, what race was she? You're a racist for needing to know that. But she was like, you know, like Asian-y. You know, like probably Asian. That's not a that's not a race, Jamal. That's a that's a couple of different Hey man, it's a color. It's close as you asked for because you're the racist one that needs to know their fucking race anyway. This could have been any old lady for this story because you don't even know what's gonna happen. So just know I'm over here, I'm in Miracle Mile, I'm taking a walk down the street, old lady. Okay? Jesus Christ. Anyway. The fucking old lady, um, she sees a leaf on the ground and she picks up the leaf. And I was like, damn. You know, it was like a fucked up. Uh, <laughs> it was like, that's the whole story. She just like picked this old ass leaf up and it just freaked me out because uh, it looked old like her. You get it? Like she, I felt like she was the leaf. She, the bitch, she was trying to pick up herself. 
You know, she was like, oh, look at this leaf. It's so wrinkly, but I think it's beautiful. You know? That's what I was getting from that story, to be honest. Uh, shit. I mean, keeping it real. I've been thinking about that old lady for, like, two days. It was like, fucking... I don't know. It's just been fucking with my head, okay? I get, I get it. Nobody gets it. It was just old as shit. Uh... I lost 200 bucks the other day on some fucking blackjack. Mm -hmm. But I won 20 bucks from a different guy. You ever you ever do that where you just like lose 200 bucks but then win 20 bucks? And hey, you know what? It's actually hold on. It's not even actually uh I did actually lose 200 on blackjack. You see, blackjack is like, maybe like cocaine or some shit, right? You're like, or no, no, blackjack is even Adderall, would say. Blackjack is just some Adderall, okay? And me personally, I'm good on Adderall. I know how to uh, take it only at the right, I go, I go get some rest before I take it. You know, I uh, take it at the proper time. I was uh, prescribed Adderall in the 10th grade, you know. So I've always, I always was like, no, it's best to just take it and fucking shit on my day. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, go hard, kill everything I have to do. I'm not talking about schoolwork. I'm just talking about being sociable as possible. But, uh. So I'm like, hey, wait a minute, hold on, I lost the thought, let me find that thought, might have to even, should I pause it, or should I just ramble until I find the thought again, oh yeah, yeah, what the fuck was I saying was Adderall, like, do I, do I, do I stop the tape right now, go back, oh, blackjack. Okay, yeah, blackjack. It's it's just an entry way upper, you know. But I don't like to do uppers, which is why I got unsubscribed to Adderall, and which is why I forgot the rest of the story or any, you know. This is why I forget shit because I say, hey, I'm better off my meds, fam. You can't stop me from. <laughs> um. So. I'm like, yeah. And that's the same way I do Adderall. It's the same way I should play blackjack. Which is, get you some a little bit. Maybe once or twice a year. Do it. Have a good time. You know, go as hard as you need to go at life. Kill it. Get some shit done. And then uh, fall back and be you. And don't don't go there for that high. But the thing is, somebody like, broke up the Adderall, like, sometimes you can, like, break, like, you know, the Vyvanse's up, or, or, like, uh, take the little things out of the XR capsules, you know, and it's like somebody started giving them to me like that, before I knew it, I was 35 milligrams in, in this metaphor, it's just a metaphor, because I wasn't actually 35 milligrams in, I was actually just playing blackjack like a dumbass with some friends, and uh, the thing about blackjack is that I can't lose at it. So it's like an upper because guess what happens after you, after you keep playing some blackjack? Well, I mean, a numbers game, you obviously lose sometimes. But it's funny how you win the games for $10, $20, whatever, and you lose the games for hundreds of dollars. You know why? Because if you keep taking little capsules out of a freaking thing, then you're going to end up doing crack you're just going right to crack skipping coke anything and just going yep crack because crack because crack is a game that only crackheads of gambling play this is the game that i actually lost the 200 dollars uh on a little game called high card high card 
This is where you just flip over cards and see who has the high card. And that is the crack of gambling. You should not do crack of gambling, which is high card. I hit crack two times. Just little hits. Took me up for a hundred apiece. Hit that crack. Because, I mean, that's really what it is. That's what it, that's what it comes down to. You can't really lose when you're doing Adderall and you're getting your day done. You know. But, uh... Second that shit turns, <laughs> second you need a real hit and you're just like begging everybody to keep playing or some shit because you're so good. She's like, no, 100 bucks, high card. Because I'm a dumbass. Hey, come on. I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm sorry. God. I, I hope y'all didn't hear that from uh, the notification. But it's like 100 bucks, high card. And there you go. You've now become a crackhead of gambling. A deck of cards is like a, it's like a fucking chalet. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey, you guys. I want to do a Patreon one day. I'm not going to rush it, but I'm going to eventually move into doing two of these a week. A week? Whoa. Try to try. A week. A week. A week. A week. Two a week! Two a week! How many are you gonna do, Jamal? How many, how many are you gonna do, Jamal? Two a week! Two a week! Two a, two a, two a, two a, two a, two a week! <laughs> <coughs> um, so yeah, I'm trying to get into doing two a week or whatever so we can drop a little bit more. But, um,. But I'm not going to rush it. And the reason I'm not going to rush it is because I just want to make sure I never have to do Cameo app. You know what the Cameo app is? You got niggas telling niggas happy birthday. Like 50 bucks. Have you seen this? Everyone from your favorite comedian to your least favorite comedian to... That random person on Instagram. Hey guys, please don't ever make me do Cameo app. Hey guys, please don't ever make me do Cameo app. Let me just say that twice. Because uh, it's really important. I really don't want to do that. You know? Creators and stuff, you know? Joe Budden podcast, you know? Talk to about, you know, creators, you know? It's <laughs> the worst. It's the worst podcast. Or, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I love I love the uh, Joe Bunning podcast. Uh, just terrible, um, terrible sleepers, guys. Anyway, my boy PewDiePie told me to expose you niggas about the uh, mystery box. As I'm saying, what if what if Joe Budden's doing a mystery box next? What if the next thing they do is like, yo niggas, we, I really did get some dope preem fits. Wah, 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 wah. Bow, bow. <laughs> nigga parks be like yuck um i was asking i was talking to some friends recently um is gay face a real thing you know do people in la a lot of times wear gay face Do you suffer from gay face? Do I suffer from gay face? I hope not. I hope so. <laughs> fuck. I wish I did. <laughs> How dare I fuck that up? I'm alone. And I still fuck that up. And I could just edit it and do it right, but... That's not what we're about. This is a bass podcast. Shouts to the bass guy. Uh, thanks for, uh, you know, buying that Benz.
actually don't like washing them, dude. No, I think she's making like a, a sandwich or some shit. Is that like some cereal? It's a nigga or a, a girl. Oh, it's probably a girl because low feet sound like low feet. Nigga, that's a puppy. Puppy got low feet. Low feet. Shit. Oh no. Wonder how long it's gonna last though.
Best Bass Podcast. Best Bass Podcast. Crip. Best Bass Podcast. Welcome back. Best Bass Podcast. Crips. Um, just realized I don't have my fucking glasses. I don't know where the fuck they are. I don't remember taking them off. Uh... I'm like in a high of irritation right now. Very irritated by the uh, happenings ever so often. Yeah, but really now I just lost my phone. Uh, See, I fucking refuse to stop this podcast. I just kept it going through all that shit. So uh, just give me a slight couple seconds for recalibration. Um, I don't know where the fuck my fucking eyeglasses literally are. I'm, I'm gonna see. I guess, I can't see. Everyone must see. Everyone, everyone must see. Why would they be out of arm's reach? I just keep looking arm's reach. I feel like if I get too excited, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squish them. Oh yeah, it's going to be a good episode. It's going to be a good one. Because I did not find the eyeglasses the whole time and I had a chance. So, we're back in it. Don't make me do Cameo app and I'll fucking let you guys hear people walk around so hard. A lot. I promise it. Um, I do promise it. Point is, uh... Why do I always write that in? Every time I'm writing comedy... I know I should stop writing around the time when I write that joke that goes, nothing makes you feel more poor than when you're in the strip club. I don't want to, I don't want to do any joke that starts like that. And then every time I go to write a bunch of jokes, I'll write like five pages of jokes and then I'll finally get to one joke and go, nothing makes you more poor than when when you go to a strip club. And then I'm like, nope, you gotta stop. That's when you stop. That's my, uh, that's how I know the breaks are. Near, I'm really looking for these sons of bitches right now. I'm thinking, how do you sneak off my face and then into the world? Like, you know, like uh, the brave little spectacles, brave little eyeglasses, you know, like a brave little toaster spinoff. Yeah, man, he's deep, man. I'd pay for the Patreon. Um, Who we got, who we got, who we got? Man, dude, I'm getting a whole lot of... uh get a whole lot of fucking comments and shit or like you know i guess like stupid internet interaction and uh can't turn it off you know so hey i don't mind it makes me feel like i'm there bling broom (coughs) bling bling Uh, (laughs) have you ever heard that shit where it's taste or it's a tiger song 
but it's got Joe Budden on the background. Google uh, YouTube that, y'all. It's pretty interesting, you know. Joe Budden's like, <laughs> shit's fire. <laughs> and then uh, Tiger's like, he's fine whenever I'm with it in a taste, you know. <laughs> You know how this shit goes. I I don't. How's this? That's bad content. I'm not taking it out, but that's definitely bad content. I don't even think that's good. So, I'm not even vouching for myself at this point. Uh, why do I have this right <laughs> for a doc? <laughs> like, what if Ariana Grande? What if that song was like just every guy she ever spat, like <laughs> just every stand and everything. She's so like, and then British God number eight. I don't know him, but we wasn't good enough to date. I that was a freestyle too. You gotta say it like the whole song. Where it's like, <laughs> it's like I wanted to date Sean, but he wasn't a match. And then I was gonna date Pete. And then I was gonna after I dated Matt. You know how the shit goes. And then uh. I'm just saying, what if at the end of it, it goes, it's like, and then there was this one guy, he was a cute guy on a plane, and he went down on me for like 20 minutes under a blanket, you know, some shit like that, it's like, no, <laughs> that would be a much more fire song, if you ask me, if you ask me, I should be in the studio with Ariana Grande, fucking really getting these bangers out. I mean, cause like that was that was that was alright, but I'm just saying we could have taken that like up, like up. I just cracked my neck <laughs> with the uh with the physicality of that joke. <laughs> Damn, dude, my eyeglasses are really gone. That sucks. You think you think they're broken somewhere? Crumbled underneath, like underneath the chair. That's crazy. Fucking nuts, if you ask me. Nucking futs. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it, man. You're just not finding those shits, man. Alright. Does any I, You know what I'm sitting here being quiet as fuck Thinking about Because it's like I write down like Ideas and then I want to think about The idea while I'm here with you all And uh Basically just thinking like Something is We're really lucky We we as in the entire population. Like I think the entire population would end if no, if even if even if if I could get on the ground and fuck the mud and that felt better than a vagina, then I would definitely do it. But it doesn't. So I think just like the whole population's lucky that like for at least whatever percentage, you know, you know, whatever percentage, it's cool to not be a part of this percentage, obviously, but there are, we're all just lucky that somebody wants to keep this shit going, because nothing, because, like, vibrators feel better than dicks, you know, so it's like, if you say, hey, uh, how am I gonna get there, you know, like, if you're like, hey, can I ever find something that feels better than a Vibrate, be like, I mean, better than a dick, you'd be like, yeah, this machine, we can create this machine, it fucking feels way better. Every girl I know, it's like, it feels better. It's gotten to the point where vibrators are so good that some girls don't even want to use them because they're like, it'd be like riding a spaceship instead of a car. So they're just like, why would I, no, I don't want to ride in a spaceship because then I have to drive my car every day or, you know, like life. So it's like, like, I mean, just to go to work. Everyone wants, I mean, you know, not to go to a new place. 
But, I mean, I'm sure it's a new place, actually. You know, now that I think about it, I'm sure it's a new place. So, yeah, man. Because guys be pathetic. I've been watching this, uh, I've been tuned into this little website for a couple months now. It's called Chatarbait. Chatarbait. Check that shit out. <laughs> and, uh, these young ladies will be chilling on this shit, like, chilling. No, I'm talking, nah, there's some of them taking, like, I, there's, oh my god, I'm trying to, I just want to bluntly list the things. Then I'm like, I don't want to get super flagged on um, YouTube or whatever. But the more impressive thing is that there's some people just chilling there, like watching TV, beautiful woman. And then her little thing is going, ding, 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 ding. And I'm like, what the fuck? Is that money? And it's money. It's money. They're giving her money. For what? Because she's alive and and fucking mud does not feel better. Even if it doesn't matter how dirty it gets you, nobody would care if it felt better. If mud was like defaultedly warm and but still some little tight and such, you'd just always see men fucking the ground all the time. It would just be common thing. It would just be so common. Dude, everybody was just like, yeah, we're going to go fuck the ground. Let's do it. You know? Dead ass. But. Instead, they're not. Um, fuck that. Are pigs smarter than Pokemon? If you've gotten to this far in the podcast, then please, 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 please. Please, whoa, how many times is he going to say please, 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 please? Might as well say it a couple more times. I'm already, like, on embarrassed level, so it's like, might as well go there. Please, 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 please feedback on that. If you've gotten to this far in the podcast, then please feedback to me and let me know if you got really right in the middle of some shit. And then what if you guys can't even hear those notifications and then I can only hear them? Then I sound fucking nuts, more nuts. But, um... The point is, please give me feedback and let me know if you think, really, Spawn is over there, if you think pigs are actually smarter than Pokemon. Somebody said pigs are smart as shit, like they're little, like, I don't know, they taste like people. They eat similar diets and shit. I mean, I don't, I've never eaten people, but, you know, all the studies I've seen, everybody says pigs taste like people. I wonder if you guys can fucking hear Spawn now. I'm not buying the Patreon now. Not if there's going to be an evil demon barking in the background. Yeah, me neither, man. That's that weird shit. Let's see what we got. But, uh, yeah. I mean, somebody was telling me how fucking smart pigs are. And everybody already knows how smart Pokemon are. So, I really wish MatPat would look into that. Hey, MatPat, how smart is a Pokemon? Is that, like, his genre? Or is it more... Uh, you know, like, his shit is more, like, he'd be, like, counting all the deaths in the Disney movies and talking about, like, if certain things are possible, you know, like, I guess, economically speaking or, you know, all that shit. This is a nigga do, uh, really?
I mean, I'm allowed to talk. I just don't want to. I'm saying something special here. So, we'll be, uh, pay, as pay, you know, patient. No wall studio. In my head, I was just having sexes with three ladies, and then my roommates walked in. It was like a daydream ruined by a reality, ruined by the sadness of the daydream, then further ruined by the sadness of the reality. Anyway, Matt Pat's on the film th theorist, um, <clears throat> film theorist on the old YouTube's there. I'm just gonna let this go today. They're not gonna let me. They're not. They're not gonna. They're not gonna let me go on. Stay tuned for the Pat Patreon.
just stay stay fuck tuned. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna do it next week. Bye. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. I ain't got weed to smoke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. I live on the road. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. I want some new shows. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. On which way to go? I ain't got no monies and I'm fucking bummy. No food in my tummy, I must be a dummy I don't know what to do, don't know which way to go Nigga, I'm fucking broke, nigga, I'm fucking pole Fuck the pole, pole, I'm stealing out the stove Broker than a joke, give me free Sam pole Give me everything, I ain't got nothing I ain't got shit, but I just want it bling I don't know what to do, give me more, give me more I ain't got nothing, I ain't even got no smoke Give me more Give me more. I just wanna put dick and bitches through. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. I ain't got weed to smoke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. I live on the road. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. I want some new shows. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. Nigga, I'm fucking broke. On which way to go? fucking back yeah you heard me we're fucking back cuz I ain't even got no pussy to poke no sick ah. you know <laughs> still got chatter bait chatter chatter bait though um but I always think I'm gonna see one of my exes on chatter bait you ever get that fucking vibe Man, fuck that conversation. If I may steer gears to the, a different direction really quickly, uh, I would love to give you guys a nice little amount of... Give you guys a nice little amount of of uh, backstory of what what I just did throughout this small break. I'm halfway through. Fucking, I mean, there was no real break. I was, just, I mean, obviously, but I'm halfway through the fucking R. Kelly. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! R. Kelly is nuts. Fucking nuts. This shit's crazy. Talking about. Bitch knocking on the door talking about, can I get something to eat? And I'm like, I'm trying to watch this shit and like make jokes or something, you know, because jokes make me feel better. But no, I can't even make jokes, man. That shit, I just got that nasty face on. Like I ate the bitters. Looking like I ate the bitters. Mm, the bitters. So disgusting. Um... It's really gross. I don't think anything could... 
only thing that can make me feel better is when I hear that song. That I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I. I'm I'm just like, well, can't really, can't really be down to that, you know. God damn it. Um. But no, it's fucked up, dude. It's like all them songs about babies. Niggas fucked me out here. It was like as soon as my nigga got a Jeep, he pulled up to the high school. And all the bitches reminded him of his Jeep. He was in the game. He was out here Jeeping these hoes. I was, man, Jeeping these, these chill. I'm talking babies, nigga. I'm talking. That shit's crazy. Nowadays, my nigga is out here in Africa talking about ask these bitches if they got shots. I'm dead ass serious, too. This isn't even like some shit I'm making up. My nigga fucking R. Kelly's in Africa right now. Asking Nick, asking all the bitches if they got shots and if they want to come back to America. That nigga's going to jail. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's got to go to jail, right? Like, there's no statute of limitations on damn Arape. If they could just get a couple people to give a fuck, that shit's crazy, dog. Uh, that shit's crazy. That's kind of why. That's all I wanted to fucking. I don't know. That shit's crazy as shit. That's all I can say. Fucking nuts. In us, um, yeah, so I don't know. I gotta clean my palate of that and try to think of something else. Um, I've been doing this thing, right? I, bu- I have like some old Pokemon cards. I didn't even like these, aren't even my Pokemon cards. I got them from like a Goodwill, but there's like 20 of them, like 20, 20 something. I haven't even counted how many there is, but there's like 15, you know, there's not that many, there's like 15 to 20, right. What I've been doing is I do this fucking, I pretty much pluck a card like a tarot, you know, and I'm just trying to see every day and I just see which, what some of them, what happened, you get what I'm saying, like what happens throughout my day and then uh, see if that shit will happen again next time, you know, that I pluck the same card to see if I have a Pokemon title and I kind of do, I kind of do my nigga. Every time I get this one little Pokemon, his name's Trico. Trico. Uh, I smoke a lot of weed. So, those are more calming days. Today, I got a little crazy looking Pokemon named Puccinia. I be getting scared when I when I get Puccinia. But, uh, it's straight. Like, uh, I'm not really, like, fucking sad, but, like, you know, I'm not, like, Nothing really bad has happened since I've been doing this shit, so I don't know. It's a Puchia day. This shit's black. That's it's like a black. That's why I just be sketched out about it, cause you know, white's right. God damn it, the white's right and the black, black is white. Nobody's ever said black is whack. Actually, that's like one term that just isn't even true. No matter how much it rhymes, like. You got pimping over here talking about pimping, pimping. If you ain't pimping, you're shrimping. I hit it with a hit a little something that, cause I'm limping. If you ain't limping, you're probably shrimping, aka simping. You know, you know how like pimps like rhyme everything. That's like a bad, bad rhyme. Like even no pimp even believes that. Ain't no black ever been whack. I guess that's that's a more that's a more proper way to make that rhyme. Um. <laughs> What the fuck else was I going to chat about? I guess I came back just to rap with you MFers for a second about fucking R. Kelly and fucking, you know, now uh, now nobody's actually here to bother. You know, like, nobody's actually here about, like, 10 hours of the day, but I only want to do productive things when people want to walk around with their demon and make uh, hella sandwiches and cereals and uh microwave dinners from Stouffer's um or you know lean cuisine whatever you're into but the point is um you know I do have a lot of time myself at No Wall Studios but I think it's just more real just to give them the real juices okay uh, let me think about what else I guess I already told you guys a story about the old lady Oh man, oh man, rest in peace, rest in peace, Gangstalicious. I never even knew about this guy. There was a rapper called Gangstalicious. He fucking died like a year ago, and now I go look up his music, and I'm like, this shit's fucking crazy. It's so good. 
But the wor- he's from Connecticut. But the worst part about it is that fucking Gangstalicious is fucking um. Gangstalicious is in, or he's dead. And you know how the worst part about it? He got shot by the police. Now, if only the Boondocks niggas could have predicted that that there would really be a rapper named Gangstalicious, and you know that would have just. If, if the boondocks had written that, we'd all been like, yeah, it's getting a little corny now. They didn't have the black rapper named Gangstalicious. Now die. But guess what? IRL, Gangstalicious, shot by the cops. Oh, shit. Hold on. Someone's knocking on my door. Hello. Oh, I'm going to get shot by the cops now. See, you guys fucking shit's crazy. Uh... I mean, it's not even like, there's no irony. It's just never ironic when you're shot by the cops. It's always just like, yep, figures. They be shooting niggas. That's just how it feels. Damn. And that's like almost, <laughs> that's like I'm almost leaving on that on that note. No, no, I'm, uh, I'm doing that thing where you like walk towards the door, but tell everybody goodbye on the way out. Like, hey, yeah, see you. See, you know, people you just met, people you're not that cool. You're just kind of hitting them with the, all right, all right, all right, all right. But I do want to say rest in peace, Gangstalicious. You guys, uh, go check out his music. I feel like that guy should still should still be popping um, anyway, you know. like. Uh, so lastly, I'll say call me. Call me and leave me a message. Leave me a message about anything that I've spoken on. Tell me if you think pigs are smarter than Pokemon tell me um any new musics because i really do like new musics unless it's yours so don't send me your music but send me anybody's music that you like so if you want me to listen to your music i would suggest you get your one other friend to send it to me that's the only way i'm gonna listen just so you know uh and that's me i'm out of here and that's for real this time i like you goodbye